There's no need for fear. Underdog is here. Underdog! Underdog! Halt! You have a choice. Either marry my daughter and live here on Zot, or I will drop the great Zot on Sweet Polly's head. What is your choice? Well, what will it be? If you do not marry my daughter, I will cut this bread and Zot. Sweet Polly will be... I have no choice, it's plain to see. I'll marry Glissando. Set Polly free! And true to his kingly word, King Clover freed Sweet Polly and sent her back to Earth, where she soon broadcast on television. And... And so, dear friends, Underdog is to stay on the planet sought forever and marry the Princess Glissando. No more will we be able to call on him for help. No more will we see him speeding around the world, performing his heroic deeds. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And you who was with the production gaming here. The quick you just saw was an answer to my underdog, Z-S-O-T-E, -E, known as Zot. The Zot version. Zot is a hit in the head, and you know what I mean. The quick you saw was the Kate Molly version of the Zot video. So, you want to see it? I'll probably want to see it. But including T D S and Terry versions. Hints will be in the link in the playlist below. So, anyway, we're gonna find out what happens next to Bruce Wayne. He's been taken to Arkham. Let's see what happens and what we can do. Here we go, everyone. Death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface, make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new Bat Tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. You're a good man, Bruce. I 
am Lady Arkham. Retribution, Bruce. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. Hey, we're going to see what the goes on. Doctor's making it around soon. Doctor? What doctor? Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Can't be real. <sighs> Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. Do you have any idea who I am? Sure I do. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> the spoiled brat that nearly beat his replacement to death when they took away his company. And now you're here. Exactly where you belong. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not, but you're the next best thing, Wayne. Oh, 
Buddy, are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. What would that be? I... Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but... I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together, am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Don't worry, I'm always careful. And you seem to be able to defend yourself quite well. Still, better to play it safe. You were lucky, help came so quickly. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> Gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. First time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leela? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patients to swallow game pieces isn't really how that's supposed to be played. <laughs> That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. You figure! Wrong number, Claire! Stop! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leila. Some of these people 
are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! Use that sick little imagination of yours! Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh -sh -sh. His favorite show is on. Never no, misses not it. that kind of wave. All Here, right. Play this no. game to see what we need. Commercial break. Get up! There is the remote. Out of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. If that's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie. <sighs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. I saw the cookie riddle. Not you. Sorry. Sorry. It's, it, it's just. It, it's his. It's his voice. It's driving me nuts. It's not John much yet. John Polito, nice to <laughs> well, meet you. Actually, I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds either. Beat it. Hey there, buddy boy. You miss me? I missed you. However, <laughs> the threat right. remains. The children of Arkham are still out there. And I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Doctor says that's against the rules. For the last time, I'm not mind control. What do I keep of this? The government is. Every time, he cheats! Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control! Cheater! I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy.
there. I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic, unpredictable. But speaking as a, as a profession, I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic, I'll give him that much. What can you tell me about, uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, oh, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Wanna know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? Deal with this opens. Did John give you that key? Not this again. Wait, not what again? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. Deal with this opens. How the hell should I know? 
Get that thing away from me. I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double cross and two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh, well, you had a good run, right? Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist! I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Won't someone save my baby? Harvey is going way too far. You think so? I can't wait to see where he goes next! Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is... Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops had dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead! That wasn't me. I was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents! Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents.
parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved your drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone I can use. Yeah, assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure, one favor that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? No! No, 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 I don't match him! Oh god, I don't match! You can fix that right now! Skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. Middle of it? Are you talking about Daddy? Let's see what he has to say. Hey. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Yeah. And here goes Albert. Seems you have a visitor. You're all right. 
You see, everything Five, is four, in order. Three, two, one. He is to be released level into up, my level care. Up, level up, level up, level up. Level up what level happened up, with those minutes? Level up, level up, level up, level up. Jazz? All this on me so yummy. All this sauce really so yummy. Help no, you want this yummy. Yummy all in your tummy. He needs level up, extensive level up, evaluation. Level up, level up, level up, level up. <laughs> I think I'll get a second. I'm sure you can afford the one. So no, you want this yummy. Yummy Let's go all your time. Them old mistakes are gone. I won't do them no more. That's old news. That's new news. I done did that before. I turn up into something. My comeback on 100. Less talking. More action. You just gon' see some coming. I just keep elevating. No losses. Just upgrading. My losses. Made blessings. I turn that into money. They gotta never say. she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Harvey, how about we just agree to go our separate ways, all right? Walk away from me? Just like that, after everything you've done? Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. You need to let that situation go, Harvey. You have way bigger problems on your plate. Of course you would think that. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. 
Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Oh, come on now. Don't make this any more difficult than it has to be. And then the Sensei came in. Looks like a rug. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Hey, Careful, Marissa. or you'll be the hey, next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. What is your problem? Because you are making a big mistake right now. Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, uh, oh God. Well. Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Oh, oh, no. to run, dirtbag! Oh, this is Next one won't be a warning we're shot! We're All right. Now, the oh, way I man. see it, there are two ways we can do this. We gotta Bruce get out of here! But we Either I let these here. people Wait, at you and out see out how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little tree. donation to me and my boys you to, to help us stay well body. funded, hmm? And well armed. After what do you me. say? Which one person gets paid? Gets us out here. They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Five, four, hey, the problem. three, two, one. Let go. Back up. Back up. Lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Okay, don't you think you're being just a little overdramatic? Harvey wouldn't kill you. No? Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed, and no one would ever know. Yes, where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? Oh. Look at yourself, Liz. You're in no shape to take care of. the Of course. That's my car.
it to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. Awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. You get none. No stroganade. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Luckily, the back computer is equipped to fabricate a counteragent. I helped design that computer, Bruce. No luck involved. I couldn't help but notice the color makeover down here. Blue suits you. I was thinking your bat suit could use a little splash of color. Blue might look good for the cape and cow. Maybe some other time. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. There we go. We can cure others. That but should do it. Oh, 
gas needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. That does the trick. It'll work. For better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Couldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. And now we head back. Oh. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light share will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. Now we to find the Vales and see their home. Well, this is how... And that, when he got there that evening, Okay. I'm inside the Vale House. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. 
Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Here's Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer.
The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. I know what happened now. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. Anything? No. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I. I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police? I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Whoa. I think I hear some go. I better be ready. Uh oh. Better get ready. Look out, here comes my size crashing. Get down!
more game. The hell? Nice work, kid. And then he was faked. But then notices the bales are dead. <gasps> they're dead. Yeah, they're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Yay. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who is the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Securing the crime scene. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low-bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. 
Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD? Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Now that might be true, but I really needed you here. Without that strobe grenade of yours, I might have been toast. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. No time for stealth, Lucius. You need to get those firewalls augmented fast. And if he notices, well, we'll figure it out from there. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. An old friend he can do. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Batman. Random. Who knows how he will react by the way? This is Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. All right. Let's... Right. The only way we're going to confront him is Bruce Wayne. Billionaire playboy and entrepreneur. And that night, of course, at City Hall, I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? Don't screw this up, Harvey. Harvey, we need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. I have always supported you. You were my friend. Tell me, Bruce. Were you thinking about our friendship when you were screwing Selena? Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selena. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. With the value of your estate, it can be used to do a lot of good. I'll pay this city back on my terms, not yours. 
Nah, I think I like my terms better. I'm sorry, Bruce, but I can't back down now. I've got a lot of pressure on me right now. I've got your enemies everywhere. And strong leaders crush their enemies without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. That I would weed out the crime and corruption. You're really living up to your campaign slogan, aren't you, Harv? A new face for Gotham. And it's a face that will be remembered after what I do to the children of Arkham. What do you mean? Ready to go! Oh, so good. Here goes the hell of that soldier! It went on the word! No do it! Word. And... Bam! There it is! What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Oh, oh man. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? You can't believe it. You actually have lost your mind. You're a lunatic. I have a strong feeling that history will say otherwise. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. That I am the guardian of Gotham. I don't care how many resources, how much I have to spend, I will use my last penny if that's what it takes to stop you. No bother. It's not your concern anymore. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham Terror Plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide? What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. Yeah. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. You got the bunch. Tragic, but unsurprising. Maybe even dear old Alfred will shed a tear. I <laughs> hope that was satisfying. That's the last one you get. Oh no! Shut up! Just wait. Just keep moving. Come on, keep walking. You're cops! You're supposed to protect people, keep them safe! Is this really what your badge stands for? This is how we're keeping people safe. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. Harvey's not gonna save Gotham. He's going to destroy it. No, 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 no. he won't. Look at what he's already done tonight! Do you think that's gonna be the last city block he blows up to get his way? I, uh, I hadn't thought about it that way. Hey, don't listen to his crap! 
The mayor is the only one brave enough to take real action against our enemies. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... I... But Honey, if you think that's where he's gonna stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I, uh... Um, maybe, uh... Maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it! You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? what? Uh... Nothing. Just think for yourselves. You're not Harvey's puppets. You are more than that. This isn't about the mayor. This is about protecting the city. And that's why we're not afraid to do what it takes. Oh boy, this is it. Officer! Right. Drop your weapon! You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Den just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Den's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. The amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arca might be neck and neck on body count by this point. Dent needs to be stopped, Jim. Now. Or that block won't be the last thing that gets destroyed. No, we'll stop it. But it ain't gonna be easy. It's a mess out there. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I handed it into my superiors and... Four, three, two, one. Uh, this level up, 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 level
signal coming through, Lucius. Looks like it. I'll give you what support I can. But from here in the Batcave, I can only see what you can. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can definitely do that. Just be careful, Bruce. No telling what kind of security he's had installed. stewardship with the technology being developed we can control nations what are you and lady arkham planning oh, i'm glad you asked you know wayne was thinking too small he was only tinkering around so focused on consumer technology she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. Why waste our time trying to hack into Wayne technology when we can own it? And with it, we'll strike back at the dead administration. And then the liberation can truly begin! Okay, I think I'm getting bored of this now. It might just be time to kill you. Go ahead and try. Right. Let's go. Onward. I'm Betty Thompson. I'm Miss Oklahoma here in Las Vegas at the.
You'll never find her in time! Where is she? What is she planning? Uh, the message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes! The city's hypocrisy will be exposed! Tell me where to find her. Piss off! Oh, I'm not telling you anything. When she's ready, she'll find you. You're nothing but a pawn to her. And you're a fool if you think otherwise. You don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. I die before I sell out the cause. Not too bad, Barry. All right, I'm trying to restrain. But you can help yourself by talking. I'll stop her either way. What the? Just cut me down, mate. Yeah. Oh, good lord. And it was all too terrible. Just tell him, Wayne, put up a flag. 